Okay. Hello, my people, my beautiful and awesome viewers. Uh, welcome to my page, Timo Starboy Channel Blogs. Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and wherever you may be listening to my program, I greet you. I greet you at your location time. So welcome, welcome. This is another episode. Uh, fire day, oh, fire day on mountain. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> You don't shell a OT shell a pata pata. Ah, fire day for court. You know, say na uh, Wednesday 17, they say they will resume on the petition, tribunal petition on the election. On the election, uh, this uh, the one that we are facing now, you know. So as they go to court now, one kind of if we don't know where it come from. They say na whether na papa have been a, a, a pampa, have been a pampas. We don't know. We don't know which one is name. He just show up, just like a clown. I begin disturb uh, <laughs> the others inside the court. You know me. I think say then they do none of uh, that uh, Hollywood uh, movie. You know. You know as then uh, they can carry their their script, go to uh, court, go to court. You know. So as they don't land to, to court, and some people they are. They are in one side. They want to distort and disturb everything, you know. So and that thing, <laughs> you know, they funny. You. Now it is uh, police. They just do their job. Throw the man out. That's how they disgrace the, the old man. Eh? The old man who's supposed to, to to sit there at home. They drink a camu. I do not kundu. I don't know. It just, or maybe they could go eat the amala. Amala with uh, begirewe do. Eh? He can't. They go disgrace himself inside court. For that matter, yeah, they don't turn this our court to yeah, yeah. Eh? They don't turn our court, Nigeria court to yeah, yeah. To, jo, to, 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 to PlayStation. I don't know why kind of all these people, all these riffraff, they will allow them. Eh? Can they cause a katakata kitikiti over there? Ah, this one's serious, oh. And uh, my brother, my people are at home, you know, my, my fellow. Uh, <laughs> My fellow Nigeria, uh, they say make we na ask one question, and I mean, I know Sabi answer the question no. Maybe you na go help me, you know. I don't maybe you na feel help me, sha. Just help me on the comment station. They say uh, this uh, high neck, waiting then they hide. What are they hiding? What are they hiding inside their cupboard? What is the skeleton there? They should show up. They should come out. They should come out from their shell. Say, what, what thing that they hide? That is the question they post for the, that day. You know, that uh, yesterday we then go to court because we now we are in uh, on Thursday night in Japan here. So according to the location time in Abuja, so they post the question. Say, what is Idnek is hiding and APC alongside? Because then be paddy paddy, you know, now then do the orchestrating, then do Ojoro, then do Waiwayo, then do Rubby Rubbish, you know. So they say we should pose this question on them. Say, what are they hiding that they don't want to leave the whole uh, evidence that is on the ground? They don't want to leave the whole document. You know, what are they afraid for? What are they hiding in the, in the first place? Because that is the exhibit, exhibit A, that uh, document that they do forgery, you know, they do scamming, they do yahoo yahoo inside, you know. So now those one do we go prove evidence, say now Ojoro they do. So they don't want to leave that uh, document. Anyway, don't let me uh, <laughs> don't don't let me uh, spoke all my mind because I I have a video. To show you people, so let's enjoy it from the first of all, from the lawyer, uh, LP, LOP lawyer, LOP, LOP 89, LOP 77, LOP 99. <laughs> you go to dance, <laughs> you go to dance, so you go dance, uh, Shokoti, you go dance anything, you know, for this matter, because this matter, I don't know where it's going to go. This matter, Boku, you know. This one, oh yeah, pa, oh yeah, pa. We go, we go tired for this matter because I mean I don't see a season film because you know they finish. Have you ever seen a season film finish? You know, never. Like like, 
Koleshele. We go we, this matter we go table lamp to uh, everything go pack we go we go pack we go pack off. We don't want all APC whatever, all these are uh, PPP whatever, you know? Because they are thieves, bunch of thieves, hooligans. They are rascality is too much. You know? Rascality. All this bunch of thieves that is supposed to lock up. To lock up for one place, make nobody smell their, their even cloth, you know? They come they roaming on the, our judiciary system, they, you know, they mess up. Nonsense people, useless people, hopeless people. My, my brother and uh, sister, let me just play you this video. So let's enjoy it. Okay. I think about 90 minutes. So let's hear it. They are in court now, as you can see. This is Nigeria court. The Federal yeah, Republic of Nigeria. Federal Republic of Nigeria in Abuja. They are in Abuja now. They are, they are hearing the case. Tribuna. This is hearing. Okay, the question now. Please, let's listen to the question. Sorry, this one don't come up again. Hmm, sometimes this video will just stop. Okay. But what is important, what is important is that now that INEC has a lead council, <coughs> I believe that something good may come out of a chat that I'm supposed to have with him today. Because until now, if you ask me, and I say to every degree of uh, emphasis, that INEC sees itself as a candidate in an election that it conducted. Mm. I say it with every degree of emphasis, going by the conduct of INEC, and that is, and that is true. Now, you have noticed, for those of you who were in court, that no other party is complaining about not getting any documents. Please share our program as you are coming in. God will bless you. Why is it so? Because share the program and comment. It's very important. Except the petitioners who have not been provided with the required documents. It's very important. And I keep on saying, Thank you. what is kind don't cry out. Hiding. So that is the question of the day. What are you hiding? Maybe you, as gentlemen of the press, may target them to find out why INEC should not be neutral. They are supposed to be neutral. That's the way it is all over the world. Yes. Including African countries. It's only in Nigeria that the neutral empire behaves as if it is a candidate in its own election. I don't think this will continue and should not continue. Well, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to be pessimistic. Hmm. But if we don't, there are other options. Yeah. There are other options. What was your message? And what was your message? You say what? What is it? Oh, okay. Okay. What? What do we please? Wait. Wait. The motion they filed is asking that some paragraphs or repetition be struck out. Hmm. Serve this morning. It go dead deep, oh. It go deep, well, well. Even more than Tonga. More than the blue sea. It go deep, well, well. We just started. 
application application on oh yes oh yes that one that one probably should be among the applications to be had on friday but surprisingly again i believe it will surprise you that INEC is objective a public institution yeah a public institution that is being funded by the government representing the people yeah. he's saying they don't want the people to enjoy live streaming are you not surprised i'm a surprise you ask yourself me i'm surprised they totally they're hiding? they're hiding something what are they hiding they're hiding no thank you very much thank you thank you thank you so as you can hear my people my beloved people yeah it go better for you it go better for now so what are they hiding so we go hear from this video what are they hiding because me, I don't find out what they are hiding. Then be why your people, then be only wale fraudulent. That is what they are hiding. They are hiding their face. Say so make their face no show for social media. So let's play this video and move on. Sorry. What they are hiding here, you will see. We, we can hear it from here. So if it is true or not, even BBC, they don't publicize their own, their own uh, view on this matter. Say their eye neck must go down for, for, for record. So let's hear what they are hiding here. If it is much. Okay. Petition that um, Labour Party submitted to the presidential petition. They and hear, please in listen. Number AAA here. <clears throat> it specified that they made application to EFCC. Mm. I'm sorry, I say EFCC. They made application to INEC based on the court order granted by the appeal court authorizing INEC to provide every sensitive material that pertains to the election which the Labour Party or any other petitioner mm. asked for. In fact, as a citizen of Nigeria, I am entitled to it, really. Yeah. And they made those applications on the 6th March, on the 14th March, on the 16th March, <clears throat> and on the 20th of March. Four times. And INEC did not provide those those evidence. Hmm. Now remember that is only a certified true copy of those evidence that can be admitted in court as certified true copies of those materials that can only be admitted in the court as evidence. Hmm. Okay. Now four times they had twenty one days which are last on the twenty first of March. After twenty first of March, Labour Party wouldn't have been able to submit their their petition four times and at the 20th a day mm -hmm. before not the final up. date they were still writing and begging INEC to provide that document mm. INEC did not do that today is what date today is the when is this um, today is today today's date is 17th day of May yeah which is almost two months almost two months almost two months after yeah, the welcome. Welcome, you know that. There is yeah, a court welcome. meeting today, court convened today. Last week, the court adjourned. You are welcome to the program. Because the parties were supposed share, to agree share, share, on, share. on the, the procedures, the document that should be admitted and not be admitted. And because as of that last week, Labour Party does not have the document they need, they requested for adjournment so that INEC will take another one week to provide them with that information. The one week elapsed today. Mm. They have still gone back to court and INEC still does not have that particular document, document. provided for them. They are hiding now. Now, the interesting thing is that it was not even the INEC lawyer that said that Labour Party is not cooperating. It is APC lawyer that is now speaking as it were as if he's the spokesperson of INEC and that tells you that if APC and INEC is working together that's point number one exactly. point number two is that they said that AP, that Labour Party is not willing to pay 1.5 million Naira 
is it really possible that 1.5 million naira is what labor party has been dragging since 6th of march you will know that this is not true and the labor party counsel lawyer said we are willing to pay are you willing to give us this document the summary of the whole thing is this INEC being a government agency hmm. that can only certify a document that will be admitted in court. Yeah. And those are the documents of the election they claim to have conducted and the claim was free and fair. They are withholding that particular document so that those who made petition like Labour Party will not have the evidence to present to court that INEC Hmm. manipulated the election so INEC declared conducted an election that was not free and fair INEC declared a party the winner of the election INEC is withholding evidence that is in their possession given to them to hold by the government and mandated by to by the courts for them to release they are holding it back what it tells us is that sorry guy what it tells us is that INEC is indeed trying to frustrate the court frustrate Labour Party yeah. and ultimately frustrate you Nigerians frustrate the Labour Party members and all the well-meaning Nigerians that trooped out in mass in February 25 to mm. vote. Frustrate all the Nigerians that stood in the rain to get their permanent voters card and frustrate the collective hope of the future of Nigeria and democracy in Nigeria. INEC is the only body that is trying to destroy democracy in Nigeria. Uh, Atedo Peter side, the we know Atedo Peter side. When he appeared on, on Arise TV, he made mention of the fact that if Labour Party's vote, 10, if 10 votes were stolen from Labour Party, 10 only, 10 votes stolen from Labour Party, in all the 176,000 polling units in Nigeria, it will amount to 1.6 million votes stolen from Labour Party. Mm. In hope your own local government alone, 70,000 votes were stolen from that place that covers how many pulling units that covers seven yeah, thousand pulling units Good as money, it was seventy thousand votes uh, over seventy thousand all right you know you go local government Good local money. government in river state over seven thousand votes was stolen from labor party in that place and when labor party submitted their petition they said if all our votes that was stolen from us and credited to apc were to be re reversed Labour Party will be the winner of this election. But in terms of the popular vote and in terms of the 25% coverage in about 24 states of the Federation. So, now, if you look at it like that, I start by saying, by 26th of March, we brought this research. We told the world, you can go to our links and search it. Somewhere in April, premium time, corroborated it. I'm sorry, by 21st of March. Premium time corroborated it. And now in May, BBC is also carrying it out. Confirming the reliability of the fact, one, as a researcher I'm talking, this proves the reliability of the fact that INEC played hand in hand in order to frustrate the outcome of the election. That's number one fact we need to have here. Mm. The number two fact we need to have here is that if people say that, oh, yes, in River State, I have it here, that in River State, that the result that was fraudulent, which gave Labour Party a win, is not enough to shift the one point something million votes that was, um, that was the gap between APC and Labour Party. I say to them, if you now think of 10 votes alone, multiply across all the polling units in Nigeria, Labour Party will be landing somewhere in about 9 million. Mm. And APC will be dropping below 6 million. That is the fact we need to know. And the fact number three we need to know is this. 
everybody is saying what is reverse enough well for us who are doing research and publishing it here we don't have the resources if we have the resources we would do this analysis in the 36 states of the nigeria as a leader in the research and maybe premium time and bbc will come and copy us again all right but listen to something that is very interesting again that we do not we have not observed and that thing is that it had just come out from BBC that INEC employed what we could call Oluwole Oluwole to be returning officers. Oluwole the returning hmm. officer of of the that the truth is coming out on behalf of INEC we are hired by INEC the truth is is, is coming BGN, out we are checked the secret by is INEC. linking INEC paid them hmm. and INEC said they don't know them Oluwole is it possible that INEC hired an Oluwole doctor to declare result on their behalf at local government level? DSS vetted them. Their DVN number must have been approved before INEC credited their account when they were paying them for services done. And INEC said they don't know them. That tells you INEC's complexity in everything. You see, I don't have any problem with APC, Labour Party, or PDP. I have my problem with INEC. INEC is the orchestrator of this whole mess in Nigeria. Yes. Because BBC no doubt. accosted INEC and asked them about the identity of the man that declared fake results in River State. And they say they don't know or they may have made some mistake. But you paid them. <laughs> if you paid them, it means they have a bank account. Yeah. If that man has a bank account, PVN is on that bank account. The bank knows his address. Mm -hmm. And INEC is keeping quiet. And INEC is still maintaining that the result they declared in River State is authentic. That goes to ask us a question. How many Oluole returning officers that declared fake results did INEC hire in Nigeria? Yes, Dr. Tell. Um, I also want you to look at the fact that our mainstream media... Oluole. INEC use Oluole making a day here. This one no be joke. No be joke matter. Media hmm. has not been able to identify these things. Then you look at at least BBC. No, 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 no. no. She, she the listen. Our mainstream media, they know the truth. They are living in denial. Because number one, according to David Day, what he said here, it is these politicians that are sustaining their business. Hmm. They cannot work against their benefactor. Yeah. That is simple. BBC also cannot announce something that they're not sure because they know they can be sued even in this country and they will pay through their notes. Yes. That is to tell that is us fact. that for a media house like BBC to carry it, you can take it to the bank. This our election was a fraud that was everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. No doubt about our that. Media okay. houses, it's a fraud. They know the truth. Okay. I listened I to Som Nasambu. Excuse me, excuse, excuse me. I listened to Som Nasambu talking about this reverse thing. If you listen to Som Nasambu, you see that he knows the truth, but he's playing around. Yeah. He doesn't want to come direct and say, what yes, do do? this is true. Because he do do doesn't do want to lose his job. <laughs> he don't chop do do. That's why I know of his speak truth. What I want to bring to your attention is, based on our analysis, mm. I want you to look at the analysis of BBC of their findings, you will, you will notice that it's almost what we projected, what we brought out is what BBC is bringing out. Mm. I want our people to display it on the screen for you to see. Starting with Obiago, mm. this Obiago, if you notice that what we found in Obiago is about 77,000 for, for, for LP P2B. And you look at what BBC that is displayed on their own poll, you will see that the, the, that what we have brought out from the IRL, it also shows that the credibility of what we, we bring out, our analysis is correct, and some credit should be given to us. And like you said, we want to understand that we could do more. We are we are both in those states. We are also in the and we are also in the process of Lagos, which has a very large number of local governments. 
we need support from people for us to continue to be bringing out these facts for Nigerians to know exactly what transpired and what is available on the area. Mm. From the uh, from Oyimbo, look, look at Oyimbo on your on, the, on your distance now. You see what is also available and final results uh, and your final results. But please go ahead. That's number one is that that's why INEC does not want to give Labour Party the certified true mm. copy of the sensitive materials. Yes. Because they know that if they release this sensitive mat certified true copy of these sensitive materials and it is presented before the court, case is finished. It's finished. That's number one. Case number is two over. is that as we can see that our independent media our media houses in Nigeria are not ready because they have been Sorry, guy. Our media houses in Nigeria are not ready because they are benefactors that these politicians. To be honest, if you're a Nigerian or someone who likes Nigerian Democrats and you're listening to us today, this is a time for you to support our project. We just want to have funds in our hand to hire analysts who are going to help us work around Nigeria and we can have the result of the 36 states in our hand even before the court finish sitting. If premium time likes, they can copy what we are doing and they will arrive where we are. If BBC likes, they can copy what we are doing and they will arrive where we are. How can it be possible that what we are saying is what premium time is saying, mm -hmm. is what BBC is saying. The only people that is saying the contrary thing is INEC and APC. Can you imagine that? Hmm. And then the court is asking INEC, bring the document you rely on sponsor. Provide the document. They refuse. Does that tell you they know what they are to spend fraudulent outcome? So, but if you help us, if you really help us in any way you can, we will be happy to get this job and to make it to the public available even before we the help court you. Don't sees worry. the final numbers. We will help you guys. If we will help you. So anyway, this uh, uh, this video is ended there. So another one. Let me just give you what happened in the court. You know uh, how the apampa be pampas. Whether the pampas have been a pampa, you know, you go destroy the what they are doing. You know, you go disturb them. You just they do yahoo yahoo. They do all these their uh, hooligans. You know, so and they give him his size. So. That is for him. So let's uh, hear from a uh, correspondent from um, the uh, lawyer Okonkwo. Okay. <coughs> lawyer Okonkwo is speaking now. <coughs> Just uh, jumping. I don't know why this commercial is too is interrupting all the time. I didn't request for one. Two and three of the local app. Before you even announce the result, you should have the CTC let to the complete, complete unit to complete unit from word to word, from local government to local government, from state to state. You should have the CTC. Mm. From the National Electronic Register of Election Results. Now, we have an IMF that two, three months after that did not give us 70% of the evidence they claim that they have. They are playing now, uh, they are playing. And the court, they are playing game. Has taken judicial notice of it. And has they are full of playing games. 
I am not maintaining that IMF should come clean to Nigerian people because there's nothing like technical breaches. The judges are not technicians. They are not to deliver justice. So what we are simply saying is the evidence of what you said you did give to us so we can prepare our case. Sorry guys. No really, because what we are saying in effect is that if we don't have the evidence, because last time the court sat, the council we are to meet to check all the documents and the evidence and know the ones that they will admit and the ones they will object to. So how can you go to such a meeting? when you have not gotten the evidence, the official evidence that you need. Hmm. So that's what we produced and presented to the court today. So we are optimistic that INEP will do the need for, give us all the evidence so that we can fulfill what we would have done before now. I don't want to remind you if you were in court, you will know some of those little, little tricks. <laughs> that they want to use to delay this because the issue of election is time bound. Mm. The Nigerians are wiser. The, I keep saying that we will not succumb to the blackmail. Yeah. And people who want to truncate this journey to a new Nigeria. The movement is it is inevitable. We march to new Nigeria. Yeah. He is not a party to any suit in court. So how can he come and claim that any court gave him any order to do anything about what is not a party to? He's neither a claimant nor a defender. And the rule of law is very simple. Yeah. The court does not even have the jurisdiction to make an order in favor or against a person who is not a party to a suit. So how can an old man come out and say a court has given him an order to begin to be a leader of a political party. Which court? When you want to come to court to plead anything, you come with the order. So you just come on empty ground and you're making claim which you are not. And let me tell you about the suit. The suit has not even delivered any judgment. So nobody has even acquired any right exactly. from that suit. What the judge simply said last time is that he has jurisdiction to hear the matter, hmm. nothing else. And some clowns are trying to claim an order which a court has not given. <laughs> and like I said, he must disturb it. Is that a man who is not even a Yeah, distraction now. Uh, when uh, Mr. Pampa spoke, yeah, yeah, when Mr. Uh, is that Pampa? Ibatini, Ibati November. Whatever it is, you can see. Even if this is controversial, I don't understand the ones you do. So an old man that Pampas, Mr. Pampas, go sit down. They say make you go sit down. Go and lower your level. To him to make make friends with God. He's coming to court to claim what he is not. Now let me tell you again about the Constitution of Labour Party, and I have it. You cannot remove the national chairman of Labour Party except you have to talk from the National Convention. Yes. And again, no court has the right to determine the leadership of any political party. It is settled by the Supreme Court. Yeah. So when somebody comes to court, let me tell you something again. In Labour Party, a pampa. You have three National hmm. Deputy Chairman. A pampa, go, a go sit down, no. you don't hold right up. To assume the position of the National Chairman without the authorization of the National Executive Council. Hmm. I'm talking about Article 13, if I can remember the word, 2B XDI. It is only the National Executive Council that has the right to fill up any vacancy. Hmm. And when you talk about discipline, you go to the XVII, it's only the National Executive Council. Who are those men? I don't know who they are. We don't know them. My principal does not know them. I don't know them. And indeed, I don't want to know them. 
Number one, protecting to be the publicity secretary. I challenge him on a national television to tell the world how he came to become the publicity secretary. He has not been able to say it because he is not. So when you're claiming what you're not, who are you? You are an imposter. <laughs> imposter. An international and Nigerians to understand. No cops goes under to look at the humiliation that they give uh, uh, a papa group. Any position. And you mean big humiliation. There is no as long as the court is concerned. It is not a party to any court proceeding. It is not even a party at all. They are big humiliating they are giving these people. That is what we should know. I didn't mean they have been sitting down in their house. None of this I will, will could have happened. But they deserve it. You need to obey the law. Everybody is under the law. Everybody. Nobody above the law. If we mess up, they will mess you up. So, you deserve what you got. A pampa. Yes. It is amazing. It is not surprising that an INEC that announced a result without that's the same news I'm saying because some, you know I feel like I'm not going to drop more <laughs> okay so here we have um, as I want to say something you see a lies when you have been lying, one day, one day, the lie will cut up with you. One day for, uh, every day for the thief, but one day for the owner. That is what is happening in this case. They have been doing it, they have been doing it, they have been, come on, you know, all this uh, atrocity, you know, all this uh, 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 troubles, you know, this rascality behavior. They have been doing it so much. And this is the time for God to hurt. That is why all the Anyash is bringing out. They've been rubbing us with the mud, with, the, with anything, with any shit. So it is time now that we say, no, enough is enough. You have been pushing out to the wall. So let's us, let us rise up. That is my own advice to all the whole youth. Let's rise up together and be unity to fight this corruption. Because all these old people, all these uh, uh, those uh, politicians, they have nothing to offer. I've been saying it almost four years now. I've been on the uh, internet, you know. I've been saying it all along. They don't have anything to offer. They just want for their mouth and their pocket and their family and their relative. That's all. So it is we that we take our life back from them. If you don't rise up, if you just sleep in there, that is where your problem will be sleeping with you. If you rise up, so you are ready to go, you are ready to move, to do the needful, to do the action. So let's do this to them. This is the time. God has given us the time to take our life back. So thank you guys. Thank you. I love you all. I love you. You are wonderful. Especially uh, Abdul... Abdul Salam, uh, you are always uh, my brother. So, on your day too, uh, Mrs. Uh, on your day, thank you. Or uh, Miss, sorry, Miss, on your day. You are not yet married. You, know, you are a young guy. So, anyway, so thank you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Love you all. Take care.